Hello, and welcome to auditions for the Music Man. May 14th, 15th, and 16th here at the Richland Center City Auditorium, which is 182 North Central Avenue in Richland Center. Come on in. The first thing we're going to ask you to do when you come in is to fill out an audition form. And I will need your name so I can write it on the list. And please fill out the front and the back. And if you're under 18, you will need parental signatures in order to do this. And I would just point out that one of the things that we're asking for is the conflicts that you have in May, June, July, and August. That's when the rehearsals will be, generally between 6.30 and 9 in the evening on weekdays. And the shows are going to be the last weekend of July and the first weekend of August. So it's a simple two-page form. And the parts are listed on the front. You can audition for as many or as few. And we also have crew and other positions available besides acting. To help you decide what part you might want to try out for, we're going to have a list of characters. And on top of that, we're going to have the audition forms, the character list, and an explanation of what you need to do in audition packets and have them at the Brewer Library for you to pick up. So if you want to fill this out ahead of time, you can. So there's a bunch of happy people over there filling out their audition forms as we speak. And after the forms are filled out, the first thing we may ask you to do is either dance or sing. The dancers are going to be here. Hey guys, I'm Brittany. I'm the choreographer of the show, and I'm going to teach you guys some dances so that you can show the director, and then he'll be able to see um, your abilities and what you're really good at. So, we're going to learn to dance. Piece, step, pace. Our right foot was in the front. Ready? Step. Hi, I'm Erin, I'm the vocal director. I'll be who you're working with during auditions. And when you come to auditions, you can bring something prepared if you like. You can sing happy birthday if you'd like. You can bring something from the show prepared. If you wanna bring music for me to play, I'm happy to do that. If you want to bring a device and play something that's recorded while you sing over it, that's okay too. Whatever you're most comfortable and confident with, okay? What I'd like to do first is have everybody just stand up and we're just gonna sing row, row, row your boat. Okay, ready? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. So can you tell us your name and what you want to sing today? Uh, sure, my name is Stella Woodhouse and I'm singing just a couple lines of There Was a Young Maiden. Great. There was a young maiden who lived all alone. She lived all alone by the shore, her own. My name is Chloe, and I'll be singing Good Night, My Someone. Good night, my someone. Good night, my love. Sleep tight, my someone. Sleep tight, my love. My name is Sharon, and I'm going to sing an Irish lullaby. Ura, lura, lura. If you gotta start sometime, why not now? If you gotta start somewhere, I say here. Also, a really fun part of the show is that we have a barbershop quartet. So if you are a male and you've had experience singing intricate harmonies within a group, we would love to have you come show us what you can do. The final thing that we're going to do is line reading. So there'll be um, pages from the script and I'll ask people to get up and read from the script. That won't do at all. I'll have a kiss from my boy. 
The lady over there is your sister, young man. Hello, Winthrop. Winthrop. Winthrop, where's your manners? I'm having a party on Saturday. Will you please come? I would especially like it if, very much if you'd come. Winthrop? Well, Winthrop. Winthrop. Amaryllis asked you to her party. Are you going or aren't you? No. No what? No, thank you. You know the little girl's name? He won't say it, say Amaryllis, because of the X. Because of his lisp. He's ashamed. We know all about his lisp, Amaryllis. Well, Winthrop? I'll bet he won't say it. No, thank you, Amaryllis. <laughs> <laughs> Amaryllis, Amaryllis. <laughs> He's crying. Why does he get so mad at people just because he, he lists? It's not only because he lists. That's just part of it, Amaryllis. What's the other part? Never mind, dear. It's just that he doesn't talk very much. Cut. Thank you very much. So that's the audition process. That's what's going to happen when you show up to audition. I want to encourage as many people to audition for the show as we can. We have many, many parts available. Um, old people, young people, girls, boys, men, women. There's singing parts. You can have a non-singing part. There's dancing parts. You can have a non-dancing part. Um, we're willing to work with you. We're willing to uh, teach you to show you the ropes. In addition to that, if you don't want to be on stage, you can work behind the stage. You can work on lights, you can work on the set, uh, tickets, there's many, many, many ways and places that you can be a part of the show. And one of the things that you'll find if you do come and you do come and become uh, a part of the show, is that you're going to have a whole new family. We're a theater family. We all know each other. We all like each other pretty much. We all get along. And uh, if you want to meet people and, and make friends and have a good time, there's no better way to do it than to be in a show. So thank you for watching this. And we'll watch some dancing on the way out. <laughs>